What is up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Jonas here and today guys we are now on the next episodes of Steven Universe Future. Woo! Yes guys welcome back to your now episodes 13, 14, and 15 today. Very very excited to check it out and yeah guys we're doing a three episode vid today but I'm also sad man that we're reaching the end of the show man. I am gonna be sad when the show doesn't I'm not gonna lie but I'm excited because again the next couple episodes I heard are gonna be the best ones so hopefully they are dope but if y'all didn't watch the last episodes I did on Steven Universe Future we had an episode where Steven was kind of going through some nightmares in his dreams where he was seeing a lot of his friends leaving him which we did see in the previous episode that a lot of his friends are going to be leaving him they're going to do their own thing and for that one we saw that Steven was having I guess some sort of weird uh, dream connected to a, a TV show that him and Paradox were watching and his dreams on the TV show were becoming a reality which again were affecting Steven's mental state it was good seeing Paradox again too I kind of you know missed her a little bit but yeah man that episode got a little too real but I really did enjoy it the other episode was good too we saw the return of bismuth and stefania again and i thought the episode was actually really good we even saw some sort of a little bit of a ship with uh, bismuth and pearl which i'm not gonna lie man i mean it's cool but i still ship pearl with the pink mysterious chick just putting it out there i mean eh, it is what it is but i really like that shit yeah i mean that episode is pretty good if you haven't seen it please go check it out today guys now on episodes 13 14 and 15 today so without further ado enough of my talk is straight to the video let's check out the next episodes of steam universe feature here we go together forever all right let's see what's installed <laughs> wow connie you really have all this college stuff figured out i've got a whole yep. plan worked out for early admission to university i keep forgetting she's trying to go to college too I'm still not sure if i'm going to major in political science with a minor in sociology major in sociology with a minor in poli sci mm, it's a lot of things about Bowser, filmmaker <laughs> <laughs> maybe but i want to go to college man's wasting money personally so, i'm thinking more down to earth yeah, so you gotta find something down to earth that you like. Wow, 15 minutes went fast. These study breaks are so short. Yeah. Right? Oh, hold on, Connie. You left this brochure at my place last time. Do you need it back? Thanks, but I've got two more at home and, you know, internet. Mm. <laughs> right, but you'll let me know when you want to hang, right? Yeah. Of course, silly. All right, for real now. Bye. Bye. Look at my boy. I was afraid to leave you. Jayhawk. Huh? Where's Beach City? Ooh, oh, that's far. far. That's hella far. <laughs> In California, I think. Garnet, you're still home. Garnet, Stephen, I could really use your advice. Hmm, come back to me later. Oh. I'm so sorry, Stephen. I'm running late to my lecture on alternate timelines. Have a nice day with the oh, sky. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, these two are like, uh, two. You can still talk to old Ruby. Ruby, right? Let's talk with you. Talk, Scout. I got things to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, everyone. You remember what we learned last week, right? So no. today is the day. Brace yourselves. We're gonna sketch nature and animals. Okay. I'm All right. It's nice. That's nice. The beauty of everything that surrounds you. And then you have the honor of receiving this <laughs> nature sketching badge. Oh. No time to waste. Let's go. So what did you want? about yeah every time i'm talking with connie i just realize that she knows exactly what she wants to do with her life mm. when we're stevani i feel ready for anything but on my own i feel lost and stuck i <sighs> ruby what do i want yeah what do you yeah, want steven that's a tough one i know connie will probably go far away for college and mm. i'm gonna stay here not knowing what to do and so far from her i want to stay with her. a little bit true Sapphire. just a little bit wait all i want to do hit me a little bit is be with connie Maybe that means that what? What's it mean, Steven? Connie is my future. <laughs> the eyes, bro. I'm sorry. The eyes are too cute. Steven, propose. Propose. Well, Ruby, I'm not. I'm not sure. Don't say you haven't thought about it. I. Nah, he has. Of yeah, of course. Like, about to it. say, bro. You've been like do this it. since like the start of Steven Universe. It worked for me, and if you do it. You'll have the honor of receiving this what? proposal badge. Let's go. <sighs> proposal badge. I'm not so sure. Someone who can see the future. So far? <laughs> All right, let's see what oh she has to say. Steven, right on time. 
Sapphire! <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt your class. Ruby says I should propose to Connie, but she said to check in with you in your future vision. Let's run the numbers, shall we? Okay. All right, class. We're going to calculate the probability of Steven's proposal to Connie succeeding. Okay. Let's start with the probability she will be willing to spend her life with someone. Then we'll multiply that it by your math. differential factor of social marriage acceptance, multiplied by the factor for fear of engagement, All right. multiplied by the intensity of the reciprocal love for each other, multiplied by the oh, robustness a lot, a lot of your life plans. Are you following so far? N no. No, he didn't go to school. I wouldn't know either. Sapphire, your work. <laughs> What's the answer? What's our answer? Do you understand, Stephen? My marriage with Ruby, our fusion as Garnet, eluded my future vision. Okay. We can write equations in the sand all day, but a wave of chance can just come crashing in and wash it all away. Mm. Love. It's I mean, that's actually a pretty good point. I think Even about with it. With my clairvoyance, I know better than anyone. True love makes the impossible possible. Do it, Stephen. So it's just Do by it. chance. Do it. Do it. Do yeah. it. Yeah. Take a good look at this guy while you can, because today may be his last day as Stephen Quartz Cutie Pie Jameo Diamond Universe. That's his full name. <laughs> Together forever. <laughs> And the music in the show is phenomenal. Huh? Here we go, guys. Here we go. How you doing? Steven, what are you doing here? You're gonna have Taking your man pull up on a line, bro? Yeah, screw a Bugatti or a Ferrari. How about a line? Whoa, spot on. Let's go for a walk. I'm sure you could use some fresh air. I would love to, but... No, no, no. Don't worry. We'll go with Lion. And I promise you'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, let's do this. Oh, these two. Oh, I should have held it. I should have the first time we met. You mean when you were trying to ride your bike on the sand and you ran away <laughs> screaming? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just months ago. I was trying everything to get your attention. I'm I was trying to, sure trying to holler, was was trying to holler at you, honey. Book and didn't see anything. Well, that all happened right here. Oh, the same spot. Oh, my boy <laughs> Steven, man. Ugh, I like I this, bro. I like, like this. It was yesterday. This is so cute. Look at Connie, that, man. There's something very important that I want to say to you today. Get it, Steven. Look at that, bro. Look at that. See, can your man do that? Can your man do that? Ah, uh, it's, it's too much, bro. It's too precious. It's too precious. Again, I gotta get props to Steven's voice actor, bro. He sings his heart out. A lot of y'all told me too he does his own music. I might check that out in the future. I'd rather be me. Get it, my boy. Get it. See? Ooh. Oh, he brought back the, the glow ring or whatever. Connie, will you marry me? What? Let's get married and live as Stevani. What? Steven, maybe we should talk about this first? True. I know you might think I'm being sentimental, but this makes sense. I don't know what you've been studying, but Stevani does. We can go mm. to college together. Steven, come on. Yeah. We're really young that too bro you guys are way young you to get married with me? of course i do but i want to be my own person too that well, makes sense too yeah but my boy is is it a no it's a not now steven but that's a good answer i like that not, not now together why not say it now we've got plenty of time don't worry i'm not worried i'm just happy to be with you mm. that's all I'm happy to be with you too. I feel bad for him, bro. I feel I feel so bad know, for Steven. It's important to you. You're important to This man's going through it, bro. Lion. This man's going we'll through it. Lion's waiting for you. Steven, are you sure? Yeah. I'll call you tomorrow at lunchtime. This is sad. This is sad. But at least she didn't say no. She just said not yet. Or not now. Oh boy. Damn. This is this is terrible, bro. This is terrible. But again, it's not a no, people. Not now. Makes sense. She wants to be her own person. Alright, got it. It's cool. She she came. Help my boy. Consult him. Ruby and Sapphire said I should go for it. You can't trust love advice from those two hopeless romantics. Exactly. Why didn't you stop me? There was no future where you didn't propose to Connie. Mm, that's true. That's true. He probably still would have done it. Your soulmate is your compliment, not your missing piece. Ruby and Sapphire love being together, but they each have their own individual lives. Plus, too, they knew each other like a really long time. 
Honey Stevani won't be able to fill it. Boy, I feel bad for him. It's just that you, you make it look so easy. I hate to say it, but this is kind of your fault for being so so perfect. I know you're upset. Yeah, it kind of oh, is. Well, maybe shoving this adorable cake in my face will make me feel better. Ah, oh, Jesus. You really, really won't. I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> let it out, boy. Just let it out. He shouldn't have bought that cake, bro. I'm sorry. He should not have bought that cake. <laughs> Okay, so what did I think of this episode? Yeah, man, my boy Steven's going through it. Oh my God, it's getting a little bit real, bro. It kind of is getting a little real. I mean, I'm glad Connie said not yet because to be fair, she made some good points. They're both young. Plus two, they should be their own person. And for Steven, he just wants to jump the gun, get married and become Stefani, which is not gonna help him be better personally for Steven. I do see that Maybe in the future they might get married, but I just, I'm glad she just said not yet. Because if she would have said no, that would have been very, very hurtful. But, you know, she still loves Steven, has feelings for him. So hopefully we'll see something happen uh, maybe in the future of these episodes, but we'll have to see. But yeah, man, this episode was got you right in the heart, bro. Uh, uh. Anyway, let's hop to the next episode. Here we go. Growing Pains. All right, let's see what's in store. The fuck is this? <laughs> By the way, I like it. I know you're eager to chase the Oh, Doc Nice oh, okay. work, DC. Now get the bomb off the bridge. We're almost out of time. Three, two. Oh, no. Doc Copter, no. No. Doc Copter, I, I can't lose you. I can't lose you, my boy. Is this? Oh, my God, really? I think it is. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Dog after six till death do we bark. <laughs> I know, but not you, man, man and wolf. Everyone's getting married but me. Ah, oh, my boy Steve, he's still hurting. I wish the gems weren't doing a field trip this week. Uh, if they have any reception. I didn't talk to you. <sighs> I guess not. Don't call her, don't call her. Ah, oh, that face. Hey, it's not your dad. Let's see what your dad's doing. You haven't seen Greg a lot, really. Hey, hey, Dad. How's it going? The tour's been going great. Yeah, <laughs> you know me. Nah, man, he's going through a but depression right now. I'm getting home tonight. I really need to talk to someone about what happened between me and Connie. Yeah. <laughs> Finny and Chef have been working on a new routine. You'll never believe what they throw into the audience. Mm. Hey, guess what? The tour's been extended. Wow. Oh. That's, that's great. Yeah, you know, you were so right about this whole manager thing, Stephen. I can't believe I'm touring again. I, no, man, I'm sorry. Oh, but this kid, this kid did not deserve this, man. It wasn't important. You sure? We can stop by on our way through Delmarva. It's okay. Just, uh, have fun. Yeah. <sighs> Gotta be someone so we can talk to. Oh. He got big. I shouldn't worry her. He keeps turning pink. <laughs> Connie. I'll, I'll let it go to voicemail. No, nah, bro. Nope. Steven. Is he growing? Are you there? Hey, Connie. What's up? Yeah. Steven, I've been worried about you. Are you glowing? Oh. Uh, yeah. <gasps> oh. What's happening to your face? Why? What's wrong with my face? You're deformed. Uh, oh, right. My body just keeps randomly growing, but, but it doesn't hurt or anything. It's fine. How long has it been happening? Yeah. It's this morning. What do the gems think? Is he gonna grow taller than diamonds, maybe? Them. They're doing a school field trip out in the wilderness. It's nothing to worry about anyway. Bro, you maybe need help. you should see a doctor. My mom could see you at the hospital. I wouldn't want to waste her time. Hmm. Steven, you need to see a medical professional. True. Right. Okay. It's the face. Right. You're lucky I had a cancellation today. Normally, I'm booked up weeks in advance. Hmm. Think you'll be able to help him? Even if this is some sort of gem issue? Gem <sighs> issue or not, you have a human body. Mm -hmm. At the very least, we can determine if you're suffering from a non-gem condition. See? Eh. I'll go wait outside. Hopefully. I'm sure it'll Hopefully it's not too serious. Fine. Let's start with your symptoms. Yeah. Mm. Mild fever. Keeps turning Growing pink. pink color to skin. Okay, here. Oh, hmm. the gym keeps, you know, making noises. Ah! Yeah, uh, Steve is not normal, man. There's gotta be something well, wrong with him. What is it? Readings are certainly interesting. 
If you don't mind me asking, who's your GP? GP? Uh -oh. You know, your general practitioner. I guess you? I've never been to the doctor oh. before. You've, you've never been to the doctor? You've never been to the doctor? It, it's okay. I'll yeah, don't stress the boy out, man. Well, just He's already going through hell. Tests. Get undressed and let's get you into a hospital gown. Is that one of those blue things? I, again, man. I, Steven, yes. bro. Like, now let's get started. You've never been to a doctor. Probably never got his teeth cleaned. Kid's going through it. <laughs> All right. So this is a typical human skeleton. All right. Now, a couple of months ago, Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl allowed me to x-ray them for research purposes. Only their gems appear on a radiograph. <laughs> and this is your chart. Right. Definitely a human skeleton. Oh, a clear history of numerous. Bro, he is cracked. On the skull. Everything is perfectly aligned. Oh my it almost God. looks as if the bones healed themselves the instant the injuries occurred. That's good, right? Well, bro, you, you have cracked have lines. Of miraculous recoveries. But that doesn't change the fact that you experienced trauma. Yes. You've recovered physically, but have you recovered mentally? You think there's something wrong with my brain? Not, Not your brain, dude. Your mental state. Or childhood trauma can have a lasting impact on how this man's been through it, okay? Stress. We've known this already. Okay. When humans are in crisis, the brain releases the hormone cortisol. Your heart races, your muscles tense. wonder if your body is reacting to a gem equivalent of cortisol. Do you remember anything bad in your childhood that particularly stuck with Lady, you? Lady, you have not watched TV Universe. This man's been through it. I freaked out when they canceled my favorite ice cream. And yes. then I got attacked by a giant bug monster. And I got trapped in a bubble and almost drowned. Ooh. I lost control of my body and turned into a blob of cats. I almost turned so old I died. Jesus. I just almost died. Arna got destabilized right in front of me. I woke up with a black eye and prison yeah. on the Yeah. Steven, this is serious. That was just the early stuff. I think all these oh experiences... <laughs> We're reliving everything. <laughs> an ...unful amount of stress. You've been dealing with genuine threats from such a young age. Your body is now oh responding God. to minor threats as if... It's too much, it's too much. Oh, no, we get it, we get it. Why am I only swelling up now? Yeah. The stress is less harmful when we have people we trust to help us through it. If you're losing your supportive relationships, yeah. or if you had a recent experience that was particularly awful. Yes, we saw that. Jesus. Oh. What's going on? What's happening? I don't know. I just asked if he had any stressful experiences lately. Steven, mm. you don't think... It's not you, Connie. It's everything that happened before. What is he talking about? You haven't told your mom? Told me what? Uh... It's not your fault. I, I think I just need you to leave. This is a medical uh... emergency. I am not leaving. Mom, us being here is making it worse. Getting him stressed. Ah! Please, just, just go. Steven! I can't be around you right now! Uh... Steven! Chill. I'm here. Thank God, Gretchen. Come on, Mom. You should. Let's give them space. Talk to your son, man, please. How did you know I was here? Connie called me about an hour ago. Please Connie. talk to him. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be here when you're ready. Too many. Too many. Uh, Stephen, I'm sorry. If I'd have known, I. It's fine, Dad. Mm. You were busy, and, and I didn't know what was going on. Come on, Stephen. Talk to me. I um, I proposed to Connie. You what? She said no. She didn't say no, guys. She said not yet. I think I've seen the world almost end so many times now. Mm. The thing that goes wrong feels that, that extreme. I should be feeling so good these days. The earth is safe, but I'm, I'm swelling up over these third era problems. It's okay, man. How do I do? How do I move on from all the stuff I've been through? How do I live life if it always feels like I'm about to die? It's gonna be a oh, I'm here God. for God. This is hitting heavy, man. This is hitting heavy. I want to go home. I guess I thought I could just follow Connie to college. Like, if we got married, I'd know what to do with myself. Steven, we both know. I'm the one that's got to figure that stuff Personal. out. It's okay to be worried and make some mistakes when you're figuring out what to do with your life. That's not unusual. Well, the magic swelling is a little unusual. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay, too. If you want to be a giant boy, we can use the car wash as a shower. Dude, Dad, your tour. I've ruined your. Don't worry about me. Just get some rest, kiddo. Yeah. You don't have to solve all your problems in one night. 
Yeah. Thanks, Dad. <sighs> ah, this episode. Jesus. Ah. Oh, this is. Ugh. Yeah, man. I feel so bad for Steven, man. He is going through it. Like, badly, man. The proposal didn't work. And now he was, you know, going through a lot of mental state of everything that happened when he went to the doctor. He basically relived every childhood drama in that one episode. Like, damn. I already said before when I first did Steven Universe, like, this kid's going to be seeing a lot of traumatic experiences. But my God, bro, it hit heavy in this episode. And the fact, too, he's got, like, cracked lines in his skeleton. It's like his skull and stuff. Like, bro, this is bad. Like, terrible. For Steven, man. Especially now that he's going through mental problems. He's not seeking help for it. Like, this isn't good. The one thing I did like about this episode was that Greg came in the clutch and really talked to Steven, really consoled him. I know the gems could have done it, but to be honest, like, he needs, like, a, you know, a parent to talk to him, which I'm glad he did. Yeah, man, this is not good for Steven. Ugh. Let's just have the last episode. Here we go. Mr. Universe. All right, let's see what's installed. Ice cream? Ice cream does help once in a while. Here you go, Stewball. Dinner is served. Ice cream a la pie. Eh. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Are you feeling any better? Looks like the swelling and glowing have gone down. Yeah. You know, that pie won't eat itself. Sorry, I'm just thinking about this stuff. This is that so kind of stuff. much. I spent so long trying to figure out whether or not I was mom. Now that I actually know I'm me, it yeah. feels like I have no idea who that is. Just wish I knew what to do with myself. Well, I can relate to that. Really? When I was your age, yeah. I didn't know who I was or what I wanted to do. You didn't always want to be a rock star? No way. I didn't get my hands on good music until I was your age. Before 16. I had the band, I had no How old was he when he went on tour? But or when he started doing good music? It'd be like I mean, in his sure. 20s. You've seen other planets, but what about West Keystone? Some of my most formative moments eating rest stop sandwiches outside Del Marva House and watching the trucks go by. Oh, okay. Maybe you need a change of scenery, Stewball. Yeah. You're never going to find yourself if you don't start looking. Yeah. Go on a trip, man. Yeah. Let's go, son. Right now. Yeah. The road is calling, Steven. Can't you hear it? Yeah. Let's go. I think I can. Let's go. This is nice, man. I like this. Father and son relationship here. Nope, don't go in there. <laughs> yes, I've been to rest stops. They don't clean them fucking bathrooms. I'll tell you, it's disgusting. Hey, hey, hey. About two blocks that way. That's where I played my first gig. Where? Really? I wasn't even Mr. Universe yet. I was just a kid with a guitar sneaking out past the warden on a Saturday night. Hey, Wait, so Rebel. How did you become Mr. Universe? Yeah. You know what? I can show you. Good. No one's home. Wait, what? Uh, who's what are you doing? Greg, what are you doing? Dad! <laughs> Not the man, man. Dad? What the fuck are you doing? <sighs> this used to be a lot easier. Dad, <laughs> you're breaking and entering. I just gotta grab one thing. Dad, you're rich. You don't have to steal. Come on, let's get out of here. Just a sec. Oh, is it his house? Is there really no one here? Oh. This is wrong. I better write a note. They must yeah. have a pen and paper somewhere. It's definitely his house. What do I even say? Sorry for breaking into your Steven's lovely home. <laughs> I like how he's a nice like guy, but sometimes you just gotta say no. <laughs> excellent taste. Who enjoy potpourri? Hmm. It's like a snack for your nose. Your fancy foreign spoon collection is impressive. Impressive. As are your tiny glass goats. Any paper in here? Huh? Yep. Craig Universe. Yep. Papers from Dad? They're all unopened. Ooh. <laughs> yep. His house. Yep. Dad? Dad! This is your house? Not mine. My parents. This was your room! <laughs> this place is beautiful. I thought you said you grew up in a prison. I did. You have no idea what it was like. Okay, Greg, it's a little exaggeration. Chaperones, meatloaf. You didn't like meatloaf? Meatloaf was good. Not every Thursday for 20 years. Oh, it couldn't have been that bad. Yeah. Do you know how old I was the first time I had a taco? When? <sighs> Too old. Oh, man, tacos are wrong. Oh, my God. Oh, and your tiny baby boots. <laughs> Well, a wrestling trophy? I didn't know you wrestled. Oh, I was a wrestler? Choice. 
Well, he freaking sucks at fighting. I can tell. Ooh, you have braces. Hey. We got the braces. I got a visible line, though. They're for me. Human. So many people sign this. Tim wants you to have a great summer, and who is Lauren Hecht? Hey. She wrote a lot. We were in mathletes together. It's just one of the million things my parents made me do. Where are they anyways? Yeah, where are they? At their timeshare on Florida Island. Every single winter, every single year. <gasps> Your hair, it's so short. Oh no. Ah, I got the cut the side. Nice. They made me cut it right before. But then again. Do you have any photos if you want to? This went RIP a couple episodes back. Are you kidding? Everything music was off limits, which is why I had to hide my stuff. Oh. Yes. They weren't supportive of his music? This is it. Oh, sad. We can finally get out of here. No, leave that junk behind. Actually, would have been nice All if right. we saw Greg's While parents. I get a time. Can't we use the front door? Oh, sorry. It's a habit. <laughs> Hold on there, Stephen. This is your journey of self-discovery, so you better get behind the wheel. Hey, that's right, bro. Down the van. Let's that's do this. Up to you. Go the Don Dai, now you're down the van. When I was little Gregory DeMeo, I was just going through the motions, doing what everybody else wanted. Okay. But one day, my friend in social studies snuck me this. Again, this I says it carry is something. CD with the song that made me who I am. Hold on to your butt, Stephen. Looking for your place in the universe. All right. That damn Bowie? It kind of sounds like him. All right. We're so glad we are a part of you. Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, all right. Mr. Universe. Impressive, I like it, I like it. Dad, is this where our name comes from? Yes, exactly. From a song? You took it from a song? Once I heard this, everything changed. I suddenly became the universe. <laughs> there was so much out there I hadn't even thought to dream about. So I wanted to get out and see all of it. Yeah. So I got in this van on this road and I never looked back. I never could have known that a couple years of couch surfing and basement shows would lead me to your mother. Now it's your turn. But Where did Mr. Universe make you want to go? What? Give a life for know. a different Maybe life? Need to hear it again. No, we're not here to get. This isn't helping. Yeah. I don't need this song. I need, I need what you had. What? I wish I could have grown up in a house like that. No, you don't. Maybe your parents weren't so bad. Hey. Maybe they gave you curfews and, and chaperones and meatloaf for, for a reason. Uh. You know what they were like. They can't be worse than mom's family. I went halfway across the galaxy for them, and this was right here. Ooh. I couldn't hey, do anything. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Liked wait. Or wore or wanted was always wrong. Trust me, but you're better off than I was. If I never realized you're I mean, like Greg. Mom. You he's... grew up with actual freedom. I grew up in a van. I never went to school. Hey, I, I didn't say it. He said it. He grew up ago. in a van, bro. Steven, you're not like other kids. Could have done all that stuff. Yeah. My isn't that I'm a gem. My problem is I'm a universe. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey. He flipped the van. Oh my God, so Steven. Way, the van seen worse. We'll all get through this. And look, I, I'm proud of you. What? What? You know, I never had the guts to tell my old man off like that. I'm glad you can tell. Oh my God, Greg, stop you being a pacifist, bro. Right? You're having a hard time right now. I, I get it. We'll get you some more ice cream. Dude, this is not good. Oh, Stevie, you're gonna delete it. Ah, oh, this episode too. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. So what did I think of episodes 13, 14, and 15 of Steven Universe Future? Yeah, man, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I feel so, so, so bad for Steven, man. He is going through it. It just keeps hitting blow after blow after blow. His first thing. This proposal to Kanye didn't go well. Second thing, he had to break down the hospital and he was overgrowing profusely, you know, heavily. And thirdly, he basically got a fight with death over, you know, his life choices and career choices. Yes. Oh my 
point. I totally get why Steven was mad at Greg. I mean, Greg, you know, he didn't have a terrible life. He lived in a home. He had both parents. He went to school. He got to live basically a, a normal life. He just abandoned it to basically go become a rock star, which again, that's his choice. He can do whatever he wants. But Steven, he didn't get to live that choice, bro. He became a warrior. You know, he had to go through his mom's, you know, trouble past. And on top of that, he had to basically fight, you know, to defend Earth. Steven didn't get that. So I totally understand why Steven was mad at that. Hopefully something will come out of this because we only have about like a few more episodes left. Something's gotta happen, bro. Steven's gotta go to therapy. He's gotta, he's gotta talk to someone who will really, you know, tell him like what he can do because I can understand Steven's going through a lot of shit because he doesn't know what he's wanting to do with his life. A lot of his friends are leaving him and now he's having to basically, you know, go through another traumatic experience, especially right now where he's turning pink. He doesn't know what he, he, doesn't know what he wants to do. But yeah, man, I feel bad for him. I kind of want to give him a hug, man, because he's going through it. He needs someone that will really understand what he's going through. But hopefully the next couple of episodes will explain it. But yeah, if you haven't seen these episodes, please go check them out. I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you like, please do my favorite and subscribe. I will be doing more reactions in the future. So if you have anything you want to check out in the future, please let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, yeah, it's been your boy Jonas, and I'll see you all later.